Uh, this is ECG exercise number 24 on page 96. And um, it's a bit of a chaotic rhythm. Here we have a heart rate of approximately 210 initially. So in this initial rhythm, um, the heart rate is about 210 beats per minute. And then it suddenly uh, uh, deteriorates into this chaotic rhythm down here. And, um, you know, clearly it would be important to do a clinical assessment on this patient to see what their uh, neurological and clinical status is, um, you know, during this kind of a rhythm. P waves are absent throughout. P interval is not applicable. The QRS is wide in the initial phase, uh, and uh, the ratio is not applicable, and the rhythm initially is regular. So we have a wide complex tachycardia of 210 without discernible P waves, and that fits the criteria for a ventricular tachycardia, and then it deteriorates into this completely disorganized rhythm, and that quite simply is a ventricular tachycardia de deteriorating into ventricular fibrillation. So it's this is a common terminal event when uh, patients uh, experience sudden cardiac death. They may go into a pulseless ventricular tachycardia, which deteriorates into a ventricular fibrillation. And so these patients uh, are typically, you know, apneic. Well, well they'll definitely be apneic unconscious and uh, pulseless in this section here. Uh, but in this VTAC, uh, when you see VTAC preceding VF, chances are good that they were pulseless in this section as well. And uh, so these are both shockable rhythms, meaning they're rhythms that are appropriate to defibrillate. And um, so that might take place uh, with some up upfront CPR if this is an, an unwitnessed arrest, or um, might take place immediately if this is a witnessed um, cardiac arrest. 